What is turbidity current? Turbidity currents are fast-moving, sediment-laden underwater flows that can occur in oceans, lakes, and rivers. These currents are caused by a mixture of water and sediment, which can be triggered by a number of natural events such as earthquakes, landslides, and storms. When these events occur, they can cause sediment to become suspended in the water column, creating a denser mixture that can flow downhill. Turbidity currents are unique because they have the ability to transport sediment across long distances and deposit them in specific locations. The sediment carried by the current can vary in size, ranging from fine silt and clay to large boulders. The velocity of the current can also vary, with some currents traveling at speeds of over 60 miles per hour. One of the most well-known examples of turbidity currents is the 1929 Grand Banks earthquake, which triggered a massive underwater landslide off the coast of Newfoundland, Canada. This landslide created a turbidity current that traveled over 600 miles and caused significant damage to underwater cables, resulting in a major communications outage. Turbidity currents can also have important ecological impacts. The sediment carried by the currents can bury or damage marine habitats, disrupt food webs, and alter nutrient cycling. However, turbidity currents can also create new habitats by depositing sediment in areas that were previously bare or featureless. Because of the potential hazards associated with turbidity currents, they are closely monitored by scientists and engineers. Researchers use a variety of tools, such as seismometers and oceanographic sensors, to detect and track these currents. Understanding the behavior and mechanics of turbidity currents is important for predicting and mitigating the impacts of these events on both human infrastructure and marine ecosystems. How is turbidity current formed? Turbidity currents are formed by a combination of factors that create a dense, sediment-laden mixture of water that can flow rapidly downhill. These currents can occur in a variety of environments, including oceans, lakes, and rivers. One of the most common triggers for turbidity currents is the destabilization of sediment on the seafloor or riverbed. This can occur as a result of a variety of natural events, such as earthquakes, landslides, and storm surges. For example, an earthquake can cause sediment on the seafloor to become agitated and suspended in the water column, creating a dense mixture that flows downhill. Similarly, a large storm surge can generate powerful waves that erode sediment from the shoreline and transport it into deeper water. Once the sediment has been destabilized and becomes suspended in the water column, the density of the mixture increases, making it more likely to flow rapidly downhill. This is because the denser mixture can exert a greater force on the surrounding water, allowing it to overcome the resistance of the water and gravity. The velocity of the current can vary depending on a number of factors, including the density of the mixture, the slope of the seafloor or riverbed, and the amount of sediment in the mixture. As the turbidity current flows downhill, it can pick up additional sediment from the seafloor or riverbed, increasing its density and velocity. The sediment carried by the current can range in size from fine silt and clay to large boulders, and can be transported over long distances before settling out of the water column. Overall, the formation of turbidity currents is a complex process that is influenced by a variety of physical, geological, and environmental factors. Understanding the mechanisms that create these currents is important for predicting and mitigating their impacts on human infrastructure and marine ecosystems. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications.